Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe guys. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers until the end of the year and let's get going. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the F-15. We kind of did a, already a video like this uh, for the SU-27 and the objective here is to basically talk a little bit on how we would perform in the game, how we would basically uh, fit in the meta and if it's going to be OP or not. Uh, obviously, I already did a video on, on the F-15, if I'm not mistaken, talking about this. But it was before the MiG-29 was added, the F F-16. It, it's a long time ago. So the objective is to just kind of reiterate uh, that thought that I had. But with the experience that we have right now with the fourth generation, right? So, yeah, it's... It's obviously an amazing aircraft. It has many, many variants, obviously, and I think Gaijin, first of all, let's just say that Gaijin will probably not add the more advanced ones from the get-go, I think. Uh, they normally like to add, like, the first variants and stuff and see how it is, and then add a second variant and then go from, from there, right? And the F-15 is probably going to be the same, which means that we kind of don't know what, what variant we are actually going to take a look on the game and see in the game uh, but if it is a 70s version uh, it, obviously it's going to be an A uh, I think it's going to be an A in a just overall sense uh, but the thing is even the weapon loadouts depending if it's an early version of the A or a later version of the A uh, some things change so yeah at the start of its production life or even its very initial phase of pre-service right uh even used like if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong on this but even aim 7 es if i'm not mistaken uh and then aim 9 uh, p's and stuff and like this this is like really really pre-service life right uh obviously later uh, in 1976 77 the AIM-7Fs were starting to be integrated in the Air Force. The AIM-9Ls started to be integrated in the Air Force. So with that, uh, obviously, you would have a lot more to offer. I doubt that we will see um, these older missiles, uh, especially because the F-16 already has the AIM-7M and the AIM-9L. So why would they add an F-15 without those missiles as well, right? So in my opinion, I think the F-15 it's probably going to be the A, the first version that it, we will see in the game. But it will be kind of a late 70s version. Um, maybe to be counter to a more modern MiG-29 or even the SU-27. I still think that these early F-15As, uh, or in general, the F-15A, it is inferior to the SU-27. So to counter the SU-27, we probably need the C variants, which from the later A's, it doesn't change too much, but after the MSIP upgrade, I think it's that one, yeah, that, that those uh, letters, uh, from like early to middle 80s, right? Um, it started to be a little bit better and com comparable to the SU-27. Obviously, the SU-27 also had the problem of numbers until, uh, I mean, like 1982, they only had like 16 of them. And then after that, in 1985, they had 150, a little bit less than that. Uh, and in 1986, like 200, uh, 300 of them. Oh, uh, it's 300 in 1986. Like 1985, it was around 200. So yeah, until that point of the MSIP upgrade being in basically every F-15, the SU-27 was in, in low numbers until that point as well. So yeah, I still think that we might even see I doubt, but we might even see three variants of the F-15 uh, eventually, right? A normal A with late 70s a weaponry, an early C variant, and even uh, after the MSIP upgrade. But in my opinion, I think uh, we will see the A variant coming with the M7F, M9L, and then in the together with the SU-27S coming with the C variant with the MSIP. Uh, maybe they can add two F-15Js, an early and a mid version uh, of course we can see basically three iterations of the f15j we can see a very early version from the early 80s we can see uh, 
like a late 80s version with the MSIP upgrade. And then we can see even a today standard uh, in, of the F15J in the far future with uh, Fox trees and stuff. So yeah, we can have many, many variants of it. Uh, but I think at first it, it is going to be the A. Uh, and the A itself, it's not something out of the ordinary, to be honest. Um, the performance of it, I think it's a very, very strong aircraft in the power department. Uh, in the turning capabilities, obviously it's amazing. I still think that the F-16 is better than it uh, in a like rate fighter situations like that. And uh, some others as well. Uh, I think they, they tend to be a little bit better than the F-15, but it's not by much. I know in the CS, for example, in a rate fight, the SU-27 can win against the F-15. Uh, but yeah, it's very close. So it's not even like a, a thought uh, because even though it has the advantage, it always comes down to the pilot, right? Uh, and with BVR, dogfight, uh, the, the more modern BVR, um, dogfights become a lot less, you know, uh, important. Um, so you can see that with the a lower amount of ammunition that these cannons have of, of these more modern uh, aircraft, right? So, yeah, it's it's a it's a thought to have, right? Uh, on the sense of everything else, I mean, sensors-wise, obviously it doesn't have the IRST, but the radar is very much uh, mainly the A, right? Uh, it is a, a mix between a MiG-29, for example, and an Su-27, if you want to uh, compare to the Russians, or even a uh, in the middle ground between the F-16 and the F-14 in the range department. Obviously, sensitivity against blind speeds and stuff, it's way better than the F-14. Uh, but still, uh, in the sense of range, it will have around 100 and something uh, kilometers of range. So it is very much a very good radar. Uh, it is going to be one of the best radars out there. As I said, it depends on what it gets as a counter. So if we get straight up the SU-27, uh, I think we need, we'll need the MSIP just because of the radar and stuff, uh, because it is going to be a little bit more comparable. Uh, the SU-27 radar is not like out of the ordinary as well, but it has a lot of range. It has around 120, 15 kilometers of a, a, a fighter size target and 150 in general for bomber. Uh, the F-15 should have around the same. Um, so the a, the a will be a little bit less uh, of that so it is going to be more basically around 15 maybe something like that kilometers more than the mig 29 so it's not completely out of the ordinary the missiles are still going to be the same even if they add the m7m it is going to be the same i think the main uh, thing about f 15 is that it can carry four of them together with the power of the engines it can be a very deadly BVR machine with that radar, that package of radar performance on, on engines in acceleration and stuff uh, together with the missiles. I mean, it's a very, very complete package, right? And in the dogfight, obviously, having the M9L, I mean, everybody has all aspect missiles already in top tier. Uh, M9Ls are quite common right now, R60Ms and stuff. We might even see the R73. So, yeah, it's something that I don't think it's going to be completely different. Uh, as I said, the MSIP together with the SU-27, I think it will be completely, not completely, but it will be another step forward, right? Uh, it's it's like adding the MiG-29S with the R-77 right now. It's a big step forward, even though it's the same aircraft. So the F-15 and the SU-27 will be around the same, I think. Uh, they are going to be the same as we already have, but a little bit more. Uh, and the F-15 in particular, uh, it is an aircraft that it is going to work on a similar similar manner than, as I said, an F-16 mixed with an F-14 in some senses uh, in the game, I mean. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be OP, uh, but it's going to be amazing. Uh, it's going to be one of the best aircraft in the game. Depending on the counter, it will be the best aircraft in the game. So, I can't wait to fly it, but I'm kind of scared of, of what actually able to do just like i am with the su-27 when it's added right so i don't know we will have to wait i doubt as i said that we will see a c variant but if we do the counter is perfect the su-27 uh, but if we don't i don't know i feel like the su-27 would be too much against an f-15a it's like almost 10 years of difference uh, in performance so it's complicated
complicated. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the F-15. Do you think it's going to be OP? What variants do you think? That, that's one of the things that I want to know from you guys. Uh, what variants do you think it's coming for War Thunder? Uh, do you agree with me with the A and then a later C? Or we will see just a straight up C? Um, normally Gaijin doesn't do that, but let me know in the comments what you think. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See ya.